just say this. Look at me. I, I'm, I'm really a little even overwhelmed with my pride for y'all. Okay? All kind of stuff was going on. And not, not that it's going to stop, okay, man? Not that it's going to stop. But y'all handle it like we asked you to handle it. Coaches, players, managers, trainers, doctors, T-Set and the chaplain. I mean, everybody did, did their part. And I'm thankful for that nutritionist. Okay? Everybody. Yeah. But uh, that, that's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Inside Georgia Football with head coach Mark Richt. I'm Chuck Dowdle, and the dogs heading over to the west of the SEC this week for a meeting with their arch rival, the oldest rivalry in the south. And we're talking, of course, about the Auburn Tigers and the loveliest village on the plains, as they like to say. We've got that coming up for you as the dogs prepare to take on the Tigers in a critical SEC game. Also, we have a special feature for you this week. We're not going to go beneath the helmet, but for all veterans, and to celebrate Veterans Day, we got a special veterans feature on some former Georgia dogs. As well as highlights of the Auburn Tigers and the Georgia Bulldogs, we've got post-game reaction from Coach Rick and the players. That's all straight ahead on Inside Georgia Football with head coach Mark Rick. Inside Georgia Football is presented by Georgia's own credit union, Bank, Borrow, Invest. And brought to you in part by Georgia Lottery. That winning feeling doesn't come if you don't play. Play Georgia's own Jumbo Bucks Lotto with jackpots starting at a million bucks. This segment is brought to you by Academy. Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right stuff, low price, every day. Few rivalries are as intense as the Deep South's oldest rivalry. We always feel like we have something to prove uh, each and every week. We want to keep getting better. Uh, we don't want to get complacent as a defense because um, any, any Saturday uh, a big game can come up on your defense. So we're trying to make, uh, eliminate all those mistakes and just keep playing Georgia football. Just uh, uh, going out and uh, trying to dominate uh, the line of scrimmage. Uh, that's where, uh, where games are won and lost, you know, at the line of scrimmage. And uh, if you can have uh, your offensive line uh, doing what they need to do and, uh, and dominating the line of scrimmage, then uh, I feel like that you put yourself in the best uh, predicament to win the game. We've played them 119 times. Somehow it's 55, 55, and eight. You know, so uh, what I say, 119 played 118 times, and uh, this is the 119th game. So whoever wins this one takes the lead in the series, and that's kind of hard to believe after all these years. But that's how close this thing's been. It's tied right now, so this is an opportunity to to put our program on top. It's been really big, you know, uh, uh, being one of the uh, the oldest robberies in the South, you know, and uh, right now I think the uh, the, uh, the the record is uh, is tied up, you know, so uh, it definitely means a lot to me and uh, the rest of the seniors to, to go out with the win, you know, uh, for our last year and being our last game. It would mean everything. Uh, this is my last year playing Auburn, so as a competitor, I want to go out with a win, and with Auburn having a lot of guys from Georgia. It's always a uh, fuel to the competition, so I would most definitely want to come out with a win on Saturday. Uh, it's definitely important, uh, important for me, uh, uh, definitely uh, important for uh, the seniors as well. You know, it's, it's one of those things where uh, uh, you want to look back and you want to say that yeah, you finished strong, uh, you didn't give up, so it's, it's one of those things where uh, uh, I'm not just playing for myself, I'm playing for the seniors and, and, and those uh, above me. After a week of dark and dreary skies, the sun finally came out for the dogs midweek. It's not a matter of can we do it, it's will we do it. 
All right, so everything we do today, get after it. All you scouts, you do the best job you've ever done. The harder you go, the better we are. You know, the better we practice, the better we'll play in the game. Everybody take care of business. <laughs> I would say uh, really energetic and, you know, it's a countdown to the end of the season. So as uh, seniors, we got to take charge and make sure we finish, you know, strong. That's the motto as being, you know, Georgia Bulldog finishing the drill. So I would say it's very energetic and we finish. Do what we do. Um, as of right now, my experience from practice is that it's pretty loud and, um, and it's something that you got to get used to when you're playing an SEC opponent, any SEC opponent. So, you know, kind of getting into the groove of getting ready for that. It just shows, you know, when the coaches are preaching that practice or whether it's, you know, summer workouts or, or whatever the case may be, the attention to detail that we have to pay attention to. And uh, in practice, you know, you can always simulate that, but until the game day, you know, you don't know how it's going to be. So you, you always got to be prepared for that, you know, away game, that away atmosphere. It means a lot, you know, just from the standpoint of it being a rivalry and the standpoint of it being another SEC game. I mean, it'll be it'll be a wonderful victory. Coming up next, a special feature for all the veterans. This segment is brought to you by Nissan, premier partner of the Heisman Trophy. These Purple Heart recipients in front of you represent the best America has. They have already paid a price for us. We are so grateful that they are here today to represent the rest of them who have paid such a heavy price for all of our freedom. Here is God Bless the USA. Thank my lucky stars to be living here today. Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away And I'm proud to be an American Where at least I know I'm free And I won't forget the men who died Who gave that right to me And I gladly stand up next to you And defend her still Today, cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA.
obligation freely? Can I take this obligation freely? Without any mental reservation? Without any mental reservation. For purpose to be made. For purpose to be made. Without a well and faithfully? Without a well and faithfully. Discharge the duties? Discharge the duties. The office upon which? On the office upon which? About to enter. I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Oh, this is a very proud feeling for me, a combination of him being commissioned as an Army officer, something that I did, but having him do it on this place where he played football for Coach Rick and the Bulldogs for four years, I'm overwhelmed. It's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, it's the same, it's literally almost the same spot where I got my first playing time, so it's just so surreal to have both those moments that are such a big part of my life to um, be right here and it's such had a long time coming. I'm really excited about it. I can't thank enough Coach Lilly, Coach Rick, all my tight end buddies and teammates for helping me get through and my family and friends and my, of course my ROTC program for helping me out a lot too. So it's a, it's a huge, it's a huge honor and I can't wait to serve my country. I pinned his bars on him, that's right. And, and it's an old tradition in the Army and, and the fact that Jack asked me to do that, it's, it's very flattering to me that, that I was, I'm very proud to do. That's probably the most special part because he was one who always, I grew up with him his, in the Army. He was a lieutenant colonel. He got out. He went to Iraq and all before. So I was one to like follow my dad's footsteps. He's my best friend. And him having to put the bars on me was probably one of the most special feelings I had in my life. I was in the United States Marine Corps in uh, 1967 and 68. I was in Vietnam, flew uh, H-34 helicopter, Marine captain. Purple Heart holders, of course, were combat wounded. Had to be wounded under combat conditions. Went to Afghanistan in 2002 and 2003 uh, as a special operations medic. I'm being recognized for military service and uh, some of the community things I've been doing since I got injured and kind of been through, going through a recovery process. I was recognized for being uh, nominated for the Circle of Honor. I'm super excited, it's such an honor. I'm so glad it just happened to correspond with Military Appreciation Day, um, as the military has been the big part of my life since I left Georgia. First time I've gotten to be down here, so you know I've always been uh, been somewhere in the in the stands, and uh, to actually stand on this uh, sacred turf is, is amazing. You know I've been I've been blessed, and I'm glad to be home, safe and sound, and I'm glad to have been able to serve my country. It's an honor to be here, believe me. This is uh, getting chill, but chill bumps thinking about it, and. Uh, just a, a great experience. It's good to be a veteran. The dogs and the cats get after it in Auburn. Highlights are next. This segment is brought to you by AT&T, a proud sponsor of the Georgia Bulldogs. AT&T, mobilizing your world. The dogs travel just a few short hours away to take on the Auburn Tigers for another in that rivalry game. Quarterback, gonna 
to step up in the pocket. We're going to ride him down from behind and sack him. Leonard Floyd. After a slow start in the first quarter, Malcolm Parrish comes up with a key play early in the second quarter. Lead it. 7 to nothing. Johnson, quick throw, and it's intercepted. High, going up high is Malcolm Parrish at the Georgia 40. Be a 40-yard try. The snap is low. The kick is away. Is it reaching any good? Yeah, he got it in there. Carter out of Norcross clobbered white. After struggling to convert on third down, the most important third down came at the end of the third quarter when Isaiah McKenzie ran for a touchdown on third and two. Gets on the speed sweep to the left. Touchdown, Isaiah McKenzie. Oh, that was sneaky. After the defense forces the Tigers to punt, McKenzie comes up with another huge play. High hanging kick going to come down to McKenzie at the 46 to the near side. He's got some room. McKenzie to the 40 in Auburn territory. 30, 25, 20. Tries to split the defense. He does. Touchdown. Touchdown, Isaiah McKenzie. Boy, just what the doctor ordered. No contact. Great job. The defense holds strong the last few minutes of the game to give the Bulldogs the 20 to 13 victory over Auburn in their 119th meeting. We got post game reaction from the players and the head coach that's straight ahead on Inside Georgia Football with head coach Mark Rick. Inside Georgia Football is presented by Georgia's own credit union, Bank, Borrow, Invest. And brought to you in part by Georgia Lottery. That winning feeling doesn't come if you don't play. Play Georgia's own Jumbo Bucks Lotto with jackpots starting at a million bucks. This segment is brought to you by Hyundai. Proud supporter of college football and loyal fans everywhere. This was a big win for Mark Rick, and he was ready to share his praise with the Bulldogs. <laughs> Games of victory, two games of handling adversity. Uh, just so proud of everybody, coaches, players, managers, trainers. You know how I feel about everybody. I just wanted to uh, uh, make a play, and that's in every going into every game. Just go out here and just try to make plays and help the team. And um, it came in our favor today. Um, as a team, you know, we had our ups and downs during the season, and um, I think everybody's pretty happy right now that we won this game. And um, everybody has us as an underdog. And we just had to come out and show them that, you know, Georgia's still at Georgia from back then is still Georgia now. So that's it. You know, you gotta execute and that's all that's that's, that's where it starts. About executing the plays that coach calls. You know, sometimes it's gonna be rough, you're gonna face some adversity running the football, but you know, you gotta keep fighting, fight through it. Everyone, there's a lot of things to play for, but we knew this game was huge. Um, you know, at Auburn, it's the old, one of the oldest, deep south oldest rivalry. You know, it was 55 55 8, now it's 56 55 8, us. So, I mean, it was huge. Now we got some momentum. We got two non conference games left. We're going to finish strong on those and then hopefully get a really good bowl and, and finish strong there. That was a great victory for Georgia. Uh, a lot of fun afterwards in the locker room, uh, getting a chance to celebrate with the players and coaches. And just seeing a smile on everybody's face. 